still got your photograph in my pocket. What's going on YouTube? It's Got the Night here coming at you with yet another video. And today's video is actually going to be the predictions, my predictions on the Nintendo Switch since that announcement is coming out later this week. Um, I think it's not going to be as strong or as powerful, sorry, as a PS4. But I do believe it's going to be more powerful than the Xbox One. So I do think that it will be able to achieve 1080p. And some people, if um, that is my bare minimum, I should say, my bare minimum uh, guess is that it's going to be at least able to do 1080p. And it's going to be slightly stronger than the Xbox One. Now, my second prediction, if how they do their chips, if they use the P1, so which would be based off the Pascal, I believe it's actually going to be stronger than the PS4. If they use an, a uh, custom X1 chip, I think it's just going to be a little bit stronger than the Xbox One, but not as strong as PS4. And then I'm hoping, but I have a feeling it's going to be true. I'm just going to say it because I'm going to just Ball out. I don't care. I'm going to say in docked mode, it's going to run full power, obviously. In undocked mode, you're only going to lose 20% of your power. Not 40 like they say you're going to. I'm going out on a limb, but I'm going to say 20. So maybe games don't take that much of a performance hit right off the bat. Um, the reason why I just want to make this prediction video is because if I'm right, holla fucking luya. And if I'm wrong, Nintendo, don't drop the ball on this console. Learn from your mistakes of the Nintendo Wii U, because honestly, that was a great console. You guys just fucked up. And then, for memory-wise, um, it's been stated over and over again that an ARM processor only needs 4 gigabytes of memory. I think they go one step farther. I think they go 6 gigabytes of memory. Because if I remember correctly, the PS4 and Xbox One, comment, you know, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong, I believe out of their 8 gigabytes for both of them, they can only use 4 gigabytes of it dedicated to games. Well, Nintendo, I think, will allocate 4 gigabytes to their games and only 2 for their operating system since they're not going to be doing all the multi-channel or the multitasking that the Xbox One and PS4 do. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say 6 gigabytes of memory, 4 of it's going to be dedicated to gaming. And this is why I think it's going to be better than the Xbox One. Even if it has slightly less teraflops, but it has a faster clock speed, the reason that I believe it's going to be faster than the Xbox One is because it's going to have DDR4 instead of like the Xbox One having DDR3. So these are my predictions. Faster than the Xbox One. 6 gigabytes of memory. In uh, handheld mode, you only lose 20% of your power. And it's going to have 6 gigabytes of memory, guys. So, what do you guys think of my predictions? Put your predictions down below. I want to hear from everybody on this. So, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. So, this got the night. Signing out. If this is your first time checking out my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest content.